have you ever thought of all the ways you use electricity? We depend on electricity to light our homes, charge our phones and computers, wash our clothes. It powers our lives. But electricity can also be dangerous, even deadly, when used the wrong way. Keep these electrical safety tips in mind to avoid accidents and injuries. Electricity and liquids do not mix. Never place electronics and appliances near water, like next to the sink or the tub. This tip applies to gaming equipment too. Never place a drink near your gaming console. Spills could result in electric shock. Never climb trees near power lines and electrical equipment. Same goes for kites and drones. Before you fly them, make sure you're far away from any overhead power lines. Never pull a plug from an electrical outlet by its cord. Pull from the plug to avoid potential shock, or ask an adult to help you. Going for a swim? Remember, never swim during stormy weather. If you hear thunder, immediately exit the pool until the storm has passed. These are just a few tips to keep in mind. Remember, electricity is amazing stuff, but you should always play it safe. If you're not sure about something, ask an adult. Want more tips? We're here to help. Contact us to learn more about electrical safety. Hi kids, I'm Edward, the electrical expert at Everest Electrical. I'm here to help you learn about electrical safety. Electric shock is when electricity passes through our bodies. Electric shock can be very painful and scary. Electric shock can burn our skin, muscles and other parts of our bodies and severe electric shock can kill. Electricity is safe as long as we are aware of the dangers and follow safety tips. Let's look at some safety tips for inside your home. Always ask adults for help to use anything electrical. Don't use anything electrical near water or if you have wet hands or are standing in water. Be extra careful when using anything electrical in the bathroom, like hair dryers, and always store electrical things away from the bath, sink or shower. Never stick fingers or anything else into PowerPoints or into electrical stuff. For example, never stick a knife into a toaster. Don't use cords that look cracked, split or worn out or if they heat up when plugged in. Don't use or touch a PowerPoint if the cover is loose, missing or broken. Tell an adult if you see any dangerous cords, plugs or PowerPoints and never touch them. Ask an adult to cover unused PowerPoints with safety caps, especially if there are little kids in the house. Don't yank electrical cords from walls. Always pull by grabbing the plug end. It's important to follow safety tips outside as well. Don't play or climb fences or poles near substations, power lines or electrical equipment, like the green metal boxes you can see in lawns or fields. Always look out for power lines before you climb a tree. Sometimes they are hard to see and electricity can go through a branch and into you. Never get on the roof to get your toy or play as power lines attach to houses near the roof. Never ever fly your kite near power lines or substations. If your kite gets caught on a power line, let go immediately. Never try to get it back and ask an adult for help. Never fly toys or play in a storm as wet strings conduct electricity and lightning can strike too. Never touch power lines that come down in a storm. Stay well away from the area as it is very dangerous. Remind adults to call an electrical company before they dig holes as some power lines are buried underground. Remind others, even adults, to look out for power lines when climbing ladders or using outdoor equipment like chainsaws, window or roof cleaning tools. So kids, now you know some awesome tips to stay safe around your home and outside when you're playing. Maybe you can remind other kids and adults how to stay safe too. Safety is important. Make sure you follow the best practices for keeping yourself and your family safe. Use safety coverings on outlets and keep extension cords away from pets and small children. All outlets and switches should have face plates. Exposed wiring is a shock hazard. Signs of faulty switches and outlets include sparking or feeling warm to the touch. Both of these conditions may indicate an unsafe wiring connection and it should be checked by an electrician. Check all electric cords for visible damage and make sure cords are out of traffic areas. 
check that extension cords are correctly rated for the amount of electricity needed. Never overload a cord with more than it can handle. To avoid excessive wear, ensure that cords don't run under rugs or furniture. Damaged cords can be dangerous. Never insert any metal objects into an appliance. Keep all cords away from hot surfaces like toasters, range tops, and ovens. Cords can be damaged by excessive heat. Never leave electric heaters and hot plates unattended when in use. Don't touch electrical devices when they are wet, while standing on wet surfaces, or where your body can create a path to ground. Check that all appliances are located away from the sink and bath. Electric equipment can injure you if it comes in contact with water. In kitchens, bathrooms, and near swimming pools, ask your electrician to replace the standard outlets with ground fault circuit interrupters or GFCIs. These provide shock protection by quickly cutting off the circuit and preventing injury. Remember, safety is for everyone. You can share safety tips with your family, friends, and neighbors. Check out PSEG Long Island's full list of home safety tips at our website, psegliny.com. Safety Dog says, Before plugging in, check the cord for frays, cracks, and exposed wire. To avoid damage to your cords, keep them out of high traffic areas. Never use nails or staples to attach cords to anything, and don't fold or bundle them too tight. Don't run a cord under a rug, as this can cause it to overheat. Extension cords should be used only temporarily. Only use an extension cord outside if it has been rated for outdoor use. Damaged extension cords should be replaced. Never try to repair them with tape. To avoid loosening the wires when unplugging a cord, pull it out by the head of the plug. Ground fault circuit interrupters and arc fault circuit interrupters are an essential part of a safe electrical system. GFCI interrupt a circuit when they detect current leakage that could result in a shock. GFCI need to be in use whenever an electrical device could come in contact with water, such as bathrooms, kitchens, laundry rooms, and garages. Remember to test your GFCI frequently to make sure they are actually working. An AFCI should be installed at your electrical panel to cut off the power in the event of an arc fault. Arc faults are a major source of home electrical fires, which can spread within the walls of your home before you even realize anything is wrong. If your outlets or switches are hot to the touch, turn off the power at the circuit breaker and have them professionally inspected. Replace any broken or loose fitting electrical outlets the wiring should never be left exposed. Use caution when plugging more than one appliance into a single outlet. Too many appliances can overload a circuit resulting in fire or shock. All outlets should be covered when children are present. Make sure your circuit breakers are clearly labeled. All members of your household should know how to shut off power at the main breaker in case of emergency. Call an electrician if your circuit breakers are hot to the touch, or if the panel is emitting sparks, smoke, or a burning smell. Make sure your sensitive electrical devices are equipped with a quality surge suppressor. The best option is a surge protector installed directly at the electrical entrance point to your house, as well as surge protected power strips. No surge protector is strong enough to withstand lightning, so unplug your electronics during a thunderstorm. And Safety Dog says...